I was just gonna say because you're you've been put in difficult situations, bro. Like you've you've started first. You mentioned you started and you were not raised and born or bred a fighter, and you kind of became and built yourself into this person persona, and you're building this life around this dream that you have. And of course, for any person that wants to embark on a new endeavor, even if you know we have a lot of entrepreneurs that listen to this and they want to start these businesses and transform their lives, there's always a big adjustment period. And with that adjustment period, there's always many uncomfortable situations that come up, many uncomfortable uh, obstacles and, and you know things that you're gonna have to go through that you're just, wow, I never would have thought that I could be under so much pressure and I could still make it out. And you probably uh, you know, have done this multiple times over and you're now at a, at a point where the pressure is higher than ever, but you still got to make it out. I want to ask you, do you feel like you know, going through this is important for your growth? And do you think that discipline as well plays a role bro, in your lifestyle? Bro, listen, I, I was just with a friend and he's like, you're not better than Sayyidina Ayyub. Sayyidina Ayyub stayed 40 years, man. 40 years asking God. So I, I, can't, I can't get cocky and, and I, I got to stay grounded, bro. I, I have a shit. I have, a, I have a roof on the top of my head. I have a car. I don't need to struggle and, and ask myself where I'm getting my next meal. So people mm. need to understand, you know, like this, we, we see no struggle. Like this is not a struggle. And no matter how uncomfortable I get, like rock bottom is my friend now. Mm. I mean, like the prophet, he got cussed that people that we look up to, they like, alhamdulillah, I try as much as I can, you know, to, to keep on getting my weekly lessons of, of, uh, Islamic topics in because every time I sit with my sheikh or someone that comes in and like uh, persuades me about Islam or talks to me about what's been happening, how, how things have been, I just, I just need like a sentence. That sentence changes everything. everything. I'm serious. Today, I, it's every Friday and today is a Friday. And today my, the sheikh told me just one word. I'm like, he's like, the prophet they wanted to kill him when he was moving from uh, from uh, from uh, Mecca to Medina and he started asking people to leave to Medina and then Medina was very geographically strong cuz they could the mushrikeen couldn't enter from anywhere but one place and then they dug a hole so anyone that would come they would they would fall into it and then he's like they, they have no power over them it's, it's God's de God's destiny that this is going to happen once you said that, I'm like, why am I even struggling about maybe that the only gate to get to where I see myself is going through this year and going through all the pressure and going through all of this kind of, you know, uh, human force is put on my back. And, you know, I've been crying day in, day out for the past couple of days, but I'm becoming so much sharper, so much stronger with everything that's got to do with religion. So if I used to pray like, Asr after it after Adan by two hours. Now I'm praying us three minutes after it. If I if I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is have breakfast. Now first thing I do now is do the askar. It's making me a better person, you know. Mm -hmm. The pressure people need to know, like with no pressure, there's no growth. 